Anna, okay, look, we have a different interpretation. Okay, okay we have a different. I saw look, the tape. I don't agree. I've seen a hundred tapes. I tanks. don't agree with that guy. Let me be clear about that, okay? But putting words in his mouth, I think, is unnecessary. You can actually address what he said there without extrapolating and implying that he said something that he didn't actually say there. We're gonna watch today as Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uyghur get into a genuine shouting match with each other after Anna tries to slightly defend Donald Trump supporters and essentially say that they're not all bad, evil, bigoted people. Now, we know that Anna's been on a bit of a character arc for the past couple of years now, but this is not maybe something we necessarily expected to see the two hosts of the Young Turks just completely, and I'm not exaggerating this, genuinely screaming at each other but it's certainly an interesting clip and we'll react to it today so folks if you enjoy the content be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you are new and that said let's just get into it context here is they're essentially reacting to a street interview of trump supporters explaining why they actually support trump and chenk goes on a totally unhinged rant and starts putting words in their mouth and anna kasparian is having none of it so let's check it out those terrible things you don't mean family values so what values are you talking about oh you know uh he uh put, believes in putting parents in charge of Children, that means I don't like gay people. I'm sorry, that's what no, it means. that means he wants to be able to make a decision or help. A decision about want, what? He doesn't want schools making decisions for about what? his kids. About gay people. It's and, and racism, right? He doesn't want racism taught. The two issues, Anna. Those are the okay, two those issues are in the schools. Okay, those are not the two issues, okay? One, okay, one of the issues that you're totally downplaying right now, not even mentioning, is that some school districts want to, let's say a student comes out and identifies as transgender, school districts want to support that student and you know help him or her through that transition without ever having to notify the parents. I think there are issues there. Okay, and I do it. not begrudge parents for being concerned about that. Anna, you, you, I agree with you. But you're finding a sliver of an issue. That guy's not talking, he doesn't even know that. That all that guy knows and not, what 98% of them know is, I don't like them teaching about gay people in school, okay? And I don't like them saying, oh, we were racist back to slavery and Jim Crow and redlining. Come on, we know what it means. That's 98% of their efforts in schools. No, actually, Cenk, I'm pretty sure 98% of Republican efforts in schools are to just stop or ban very radical stuff like that, such as, yes, being able to change your gender at school and not notifying the parents, which is the policy on the books in my home school district back in Los Angeles, which is one of the largest ones in the country, okay? But this is what Cenk Uyghur is gonna do this entire interview, which is if you have have concerns about genuine things that even Chenk admits are a little bit crazy. You must be an evil Trump supporter and you must just be a bigot who is racist and hates gay people. But take a listen as Anna Kasparian starts to push back on it, it gets wild. And when he says open borders, there aren't actually open borders. What he's saying is, I don't like Latino immigrants, they don't look like me. I don't like them, that's my values. Sorry, sorry, Republicans, I wish you were better. Not all of you, but a lot of you, the MAGA guys. That's why he says, as long as you're like us, I don't mind if you shoot someone on Fifth Avenue or in front of the White House. I don't mind because you're us and not them. Keep it real. And that's what you're seeing. And that's by the way, also why they're never, never gonna turn on him. Not all of them, but hardcore MAGA never, ever, ever, ever going to turn on Trump. Why? Because he is them. He is them. They see him, they're like, that guy's just as racist as I am. Oh, I like it. DeSantis has an ad out now about how much he hates gay people more than Trump does. And that's that might hurt him because they're like, oh, I thought Trump hated gay people as much as I do, right? So when he says values, he means the opposite of values. I watched all the tapes. All okay, first off, let me just point out that even without Anna responding, Chenk is just completely unhinged here, okay? You're racist, you hate gay people. It's, okay. Very typical Chenk Uyghur activities, but you know you've really lost the plot when your co-host is just saying that you're basically going insane on camera. Take a listen. Some of them say, he's like us, 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 us. They don't mean all of us. They mean, and when you ask them about the issues, they always go to, I don't like Latinos. I mean immigrants, I don't like gay people. I mean, I want parental control in schools. 
conversation, none of that was actually said. It is what you have taken out of his statements there. You're exactly, exactly, right? If you watch the interview that they're reacting to here, and you're wondering what is Cenk Uyghur responding to, take a listen to what is actually being talked about. A little more of the reaction to Michael Shore's question. Standing on the steps of the White House and murdered someone, he'd still vote for him. Same with you? Mm hmm How come? I don't know. I like Trump. He just got something about him. There are indictments. There are, there's audio tape of him with uh, classified documents, sharing them with people who weren't, um, didn't have that security clearance. Does any of that bother you? No, I think they've been after him so long that all of this is just a witch hunt like he described it. I don't think there's anything Trump's done wrong. I think that the desperate opposition is just after him. I mean, they started out, you know, and they've been after him eight different ways, and they're going to keep after him until they can get him in jail, I think. It, they, they went after Richard Nixon, they went after Bill Clinton, and now the courts in several different states are finding different things about Trump. Is there anything that could happen with him indictment-wise that would say, all right, maybe this disqualifies him for president? Not for me. I'm with him to the finish. All right, thank you so much. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with it. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious that the last sentence was a joke, but even if you want to say it wasn't, okay, fair enough. But where from that interview, okay, one thing to say, Donald Trump, you are a cult follower, whatever. Where in that interview does Shank Weaker get that these people are racist, they hate immigrants, and they hate gay people? It had nothing to do with their segment, but uh, take a listen here now. Anna Kasparian is going to check Shank Weaker, and it is kind of satisfying. It's there. You're right. Like yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, and, and hey, so by the way, guys. That. Oh, by the way, guys, you guys all be the judge. Just okay? like anyone can watch the statements you made in regard to the story out of Israel today and say, uh -huh. you know, I, he said what he said, and I could either take what he said at face value or just put words in his mouth and call him an anti-Semite. Boom, boom, really got him there, but that's also so true. Shank, this goes both ways because you're the one constantly complaining that I'm not an anti-Semite, I'm just calling out Israel. Fair enough, okay, I, I, I've never called Shank Uyghur an anti-Semite, but at the same time, people can extrapolate what they want to extrapolate. Fair enough, but if you're going to call people xenophobic because they criticize immigration policy, or homophobic because they criticize sex ed policy in school or something, don't be surprised when that goes both ways, and Anna really got him with that point. I mean, just look at Shank's face. Look at his face. He knows. He's like, oh, shoot, co-host really got me there. That would infuriate you know Anna okay look we have a different interpretation okay, okay? we have a different I saw look, the tape I don't agree I've seen a hundred I tapes. don't agree with that guy let me be clear about that okay but putting words in his mouth I think is unnecessary you can actually address what he said there without extrapolating and implying that he said something that he didn't actually say there so what what's the benign interpretation He's worried about taking jobs when we have 3.7 unemployment, record unemployment. He's not worried about losing jobs. He's worried about losing you, his you culture. Up, you just straight up said, you just totally disregarded everything he said. No, I didn't, I went exactly on what he said. You boiled it down to, he's just racist. That's what you boiled it down because to. Because that is what he's saying. Okay, that's your interpretation. What of do you it. think, that's there's not. a lovely interpretation of open borders and People, these goddamn immigrants coming in? They genuinely think there are open borders. Okay, anyway, whatever. And then what's the open borders do? What does it do? What does it do? Does they, it take our jobs or does think, it take our jobs? They think drug traffickers and MS-13 are pouring into the country and causing crime. And So as you can see there, it gets pretty freaking heated at the end and they're just straight up screaming at each other. Okay, if it's straight up, I was, I was kind of shocked to see this, but I guess that's what happens when uh, you kind of push back on the things that Cenk Uyghur is saying, saying, look, I mean, he's concerned about the border. Fair enough. How does that mean he hates Mexicans or something? But Cenk doesn't want to hear it. Props to Anna Kasparian for at least standing up to her employer for once. OK, I'll give a round of applause where it is due. And that said, let me know your thoughts on this, folks, in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, God bless and peace.